Hello all, uh, welcome to Closure Diary. So, today I'm just going to say like why you need to read Closure documentation before you code. Okay, so uh, in my last blog or last video, like I just, I was very proud. Like I just, uh, uh, what to say, I did a code to take every end element of a list and it, it just worked and you can see it's video over here and all those things and uh, and so like yeah i was just proud of about it so and i just posted it on reddit and somebody in reddit uh told me about this function it's called take it and this just that's what i did okay so like i just spent like what to say 15 or 20 minutes coding it but the thing is it is all is already been coded for me okay so but of course like yeah i won't say it's total waste or something like that because like uh it will teach somebody about partition and all those stuff in closure uh so yeah it is not totally uh, uh useless or something like that we learn something but yeah somebody has already coded and over oh, yeah, here in closure uh, uh docs.org uh you can also go and look at the source over here right so and just click and look this is how the take has been it. and i don't know how it really works because i'm not such a good closure expert and of course like if even though if i know some kind of closure coding i'm not what to say like i'm too lazy to go through what's happening in in this piece of code okay so that's the thing so but yeah other than that yeah they have already coded it for me and uh, i could use it so it works something like this so uh Okay, so you just have uh, something like uh, let's have a list, uh, def a list. So let's just give it like range. Let me just give it like one to sixty one. That means uh, uh, it goes from one to sixty. Okay, so so let me just oh okay I didn't okay right. So let me just check this a uh, list over here. Okay. So yeah, it just goes from one to sixty, right? So, uh, yeah. So that that's how it is, right? So now what I can just do is, I just want to take the fifth element. Okay, so take. Uh, won't it be good like if there is some kind of autocomplete over here? I, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm just asking it. So like maybe Calva or something like that can provide that. I'm not sure, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, like even if it's not that, it's okay uh, because I come from the Ruby community. But if somebody is coming from the Java community, they want everything to be auto completed, right? So that's the thing. Okay. So I want to take every fifth of it of this a uh, list. Okay. So and let's execute, right? So it takes one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 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 So it also takes the first element. Okay. I just thought it will take. 5, 10 and all those stuff okay so um, so that's kind of um, not my thing but yeah okay right so that's the thing I think if, if there is something like offset or something like that that will be good but I am not sure right so uh, okay it, it only says like okay take in okay so that's the thing right so so yeah so okay i was just thinking it'll take like five ten something like that but uh no uh so i think yeah like uh, my partition still holds like uh so that's the thing every nth element right so yeah so if i just take this code uh come on mac 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 i don't like mac right so yeah so this one yeah like if you just put like okay a list okay so a list uh nth element right okay so okay yeah let me just put it like okay like 1 to 61 1 to 61 right so a list uh so this has been loaded so and now i just want every fifth element of a list okay so yeah okay so this one is 5 and 15 yeah, yeah that's good so this kind of takes uh this uh okay this is okay but the thing is like okay like uh uh this one uh, come on why it's not sitting yeah so this one is definitely taking the first element so there is no offset or something like that. 
okay to offset it and even if you do that it will become complex so yeah what i did is okay yeah uh, right in my logic but of course like yeah i don't know what idea these people had when they could take it so it's taking the first then it's taking uh what to say the six so uh after the first yeah it's taking every fifth uh after five elements what whatever it is like okay two three four five okay yeah so six uh two three four five yeah tenth yeah so that's how it's behaving right so yeah that's how it's behaving right and another video i just planned was to reverse a uh, map so so here is a map so def uh spell numbers spell numbers so so if i just have a map like okay like one means uh uh should i put it as a symbol or okay let me just put it like this okay. one means o and e and then two means uh okay let me just give it all small cases i don't know why they invented capital letters in english but it's super weird uh but uh that's how it is i don't know why it's showing some kind of error it's an error okay unmatched delimiter ah okay good cool. uh should i not put this right uh okay right okay let me just i'm not sure uh why it's hey come on who put this over here okay that's how to put a map in closure i just forgot ah okay i think this one this is the problem right okay yeah spell number is there right so if i just want to invert it like okay one means one and two means two and thre means three so all i just need to do is like okay like yeah uh, because uh, somebody just reminded me of this taken so i'm just i just saw this okay this is my uh this this was going to be my another video like i just want to prove to the world like i'm really really brainy <laughs> and i can invert a map but look it's already there right so uh so yeah somebody is more brainier than me right so okay so invert okay spell numbers okay so if you just put this what happens is okay like now it just gets inverted right oh compiling hey come on i need to resolve map invert in this context come on i this isn't working let me just try this example it will be like this oh i'm not sure why it isn't working uh, okay 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 so i think i need to require this closure set okay so uh so let's see how to do that okay so where do i have any require example require not this one okay so something we just have something over here right so so i think we need to require this uh over here so i'm sorry it's becoming a long video but uh yeah so let me just require it over here right closure dot set yes i think there's already something called set in closure so let me just put like c set okay so c set and let me just put it like okay like uh uh c set slash map invert right so let me just execute this one showing nil but anyway right okay does it work 
Yeah, now it works. So now the keys are one TWO and THRE, and now the values are uh, what to say one, two, and three. That is numbers. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, so yeah, you need to uh, include that closure set, and uh, that's the thing, right? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's the video. So the moral of the story is yeah, uh, do read closure docs, and if you are uh, what to say, like uh, if you are a big guy big guy means if you can do something or some uh, what to say like uh, if you can code or something like that possibly go to this i don't know where they have put the source for this but for the last thing i saw the source and all those stuff yeah source is there what about this map in what there isn't source over here i'm not sure why that is okay so maybe i should go over here and i can see look at the source uh, I don't know. So, but anyway, go to the source and read if you are, if you can contribute or if you want to know more or something like that. And if you contribute, I think your salary level also is a different thing. Like, but yeah, of course, uh, this channel is not about like increasing salary. Like, it's about like learning to code better. But naturally, with that, yeah, definitely your pay also increases. But I don't think I will go to the level of contributing to closure because I was kind of like 15 years in ruby and i don't think i contributed to it that is the core of ruby so that's the thing but yeah like if i can contribute yeah i'll be really happy but yeah like but i'm not doing it so that's the thing right so yeah so uh these are the things like i just want to say to you just look at the closure docs before you do something possibly somebody would have solved it for you right Anyway, I'm sorry for this long video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.